hi guys and welcome or welcome back to the taste and bloom kitchen today we are making this very simple ghana pound cake it's almost a christmas staple in ghana and with just a few ingredients you can enjoy this delicious cake at home first of all apologies for the fluctuations in lighting in the video but in my bowl, I have some margarine. I'm going to add in some salt. And then using my hand mixer, I'm going to beat it till it's pale yellow. So if you don't have a hand mixer, don't worry. You can commit to a labor of love by using a spatula, wooden spatula or a spoon to cream these two ingredients together till it's a pale light yellow. This process helps to inculcate air into the cake, making the end result soft and fluffy. In goes my eggs and vanilla essence and I'm also going in with some evaporated milk. You can use any milk of your choice and then I'll continue beating it. It will look like the ingredients are beginning to separate from each other. Don't worry, you are still on the right path, okay? So now once these ingredients are mixed together properly, I'll set that aside and then mix my dry ingredients. But before then, are you new here? Hello, my name is Yasmi. Please consider subscribing and joining this amazing blooming family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to join me. So in another bowl, I have some all-purpose flour. I'll go in with some grated or ground nutmeg and then add some baking powder as well. Give these three ingredients a very good mix and then add it to my wet ingredients. If you've watched the video till this end, I'm so grateful. Please give me a like by clicking on the thumbs up button below. Leave a comment down below when you're done watching and share as well when you're done watching. So my dry ingredients will go into my wet ingredients. So what I'll do is to first fold them into my wet ingredients. When it comes to cakes, what you don't want to do is to over mix your butter, okay? Or else your cake will become tough and it will not become the fluffy cake you would want to enjoy. So I'm using my spatula to first mix in the dry ingredients and then I'll use my hand mixer to finish off the mixing process. There's the last ingredient I'll be adding to my cake mixture, which is totally optional, but mostly Ghana pound cake has raisins in there. So I'm going to add in that as well and then use my hand mixer to mix the ingredients together so everything is well incorporated. Apart from YouTube, for your information, I'm on all the other social media platforms. So please check out the links in the description box and follow me there as well. Let's vibe there. When you meet me, tell me that you're from my YouTube channel and I'll be so grateful. So now that the mixture is well incorporated, I'll go ahead and empty it into my baking pan. You can use any baking pan of your choice. At this point, my oven was also preheating at 170 degrees Celsius and my baking pan was already prepped, okay? What I did was to use my margarine to sort of like clean the insides of the baking pan first and then floured it. So once it's all set, it will go into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes and once you insert a toothpick into the cake and it comes out clean you know it's ready you can also use a skewer or what we all call in ghana a kebab stick all the ingredients and their measurements will be in the description box below please check it out for yourself and make some of this deliciousness this christmas i hope you are inspired to try this very simple ghana pound cake recipe and when you do be sure to come and give me feedback and until i see you again keep blooming